Hey guys, uh, it's me, Simone, and I have a big video for you guys. I'm excited about this video. I saw this, oh, what, what did I see? I saw something that just made me think of this. I don't know how I got to this conclusion. I just saw something, and I was like, oh, what? I could use that for my art journal, and that's how we got here. I guess not how I mentioned in my, um video on the eight things I've learned over uh, being a crafter yeah remember that video and I mentioned kid brand stuff and things like that you guys remember that one that's my mic for two seconds so a little bit closer to my memory okay remember that video yep it's here I'm pushing that to the test I bought something yep uh am i in frame stand up okay yeah cool i'm good enough yep i went out and i bought this crayola air marker sprayer turns markers into spray art you like song i'm you're, you're crazy no Think about it. We can make some beautiful art in our art journals. Make some beautiful paper. Like we need more paper. We all know all crafters need more paper. But you can make some beautiful collage sheets with this and the texture. I'm excited. And this is one of the ones I found that is um, electric, so you have to plug it in. You know, it's continuous. I've seen a couple other versions. They have one of Crayola that's a pump, but it's a little harder to use. You have to pump it. And then I know uh, Rose Art has one that's battery powered, which is a little cheaper than this one, but the reviews are kind of like eh on it too. So let's open this up. I have some experimentation. So it's gonna be a video. It's gonna be a long video again. So let's open it. I just got it in the mail. Like I finished my homework. Okay, so we have finally got over the, the like amazing hard work I had to put in to try to get the thing out. Okay. So this is the base, and um, I'm just like looking at it to see what like how it does everything. Then you get pep, pep squeak markers. You get a green, um, it's like a violet, a light blue, a yellow, and a red. You get the charger. So let's actually open it up. Let's see if I actually can open it up. I've been struggling so hard trying to get everything else open. I'm just surprised I even was able to open that thing up. Gosh, lay. And luckily, <laughs> I'm on my desk. And uh, there's a plug right next to me. Like, right next to me. It's an extension cord. I use that charge. Um, my camera when it's getting low. I'm making like long behind videos. Okay. And then you get stencils. I didn't mention that. They're just like paperboard stickers and stickers. Stencils. A lot of packaging noise today. Okay. So there's paperboard stencils like cereal box material and you get like letters, um, dragons and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to pop these out and maybe put in my journal, but I'll put those aside because we're going to use some, some other stuff. And then you get paper, which is nice. I use my paper. Okay, and then the instructions. It says, place sprayer base on flat protective surface near outlet. Hold sprayer nozzle pointing down. Drop marker and tip first and blah, blah, blah. Twist it to secure it. Place on your sun so press the button and then pull the trigger and that is it and that's everything you need um mm -hmm. yep so all the little instructions and stuff okay let's just play with this first before you start putting in stencils and things like that so okay you guys know my favorite colors if you don't know my favorite color is purple so I'll use a pipsqueak marker and put that in and then secure it and then turn it on. I'm, I'm curious. I'm ready. 
I'm curious to see how loud this thing is. I've watched videos of this before. I just want to see how loud it is. Because, it, you know, it has to do what it has to do. So, let's see. Oh. There we go. There we go. I know you push it that hard. Okay. I think my first complaint about this thing is that the nozzle is so tiny that you really don't have that much like spraying room. I kind of wish the nozzle was a little bit bigger because that is some tiny spraying. But whatever. Okay. So you guys all see that we we did it. Wow, it works. So, let's start making something. I thought it'd be fun to use my stencils. You know what? I'm not even gonna reach and get stencils. I'm just gonna use, I haven't put these stencils up for when I purchased them from Michaels. These are some Heidi Swap stencils. I'm just gonna use this and um, we're gonna get in the marker. I wanna do blue. I don't know why, I just wanna do blue. Okay, so uh, we have done, we're done, we're done that. Uh, that was again forever. I'm just gonna wipe off the tip of this because that's where all the ink, and this is wipeable. Okay. And I'm just going to, because some of the ink got on my stencil, so I'm just going to go over here and kind of see if I can get that stencil stuff off. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this looks. This is one of my little fancy, pantsy stencil. Stencils, the high swap stencil uh, from Michaels. Um, I actually like that texture though. But the only thing I'll see it, it does, it's tedious. It is a very tedious process. Because I said before, the nozzle is very tiny. So there's only so much air that comes out of it. Um, which kind of sucks. Let me see something too. I wanted to experiment with this. You know, since we're spritzing it on. How? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Mm hmm. I want to see how it reacted if I put water on it. Because um, you know, Crayola marker. These are washable too, so. I also think that's pretty though. You still can see the design that I put on there. It's just bleeding a little bit. So you can still see the design. I think that's nice. Really cool. I could do this. Like, maybe watch. Well, it's loud, so I said like, watch a movie. Um, But you could do, like, watch a TV, YouTube, and then just spritz. Um, if you saw me like dealing off, I was on my laptop watching a video because it's taking forever. Okay, the only comes with five colors. I actually went out and bought these from, um, what's it called? Dollar Journal. Let's try red. Um, because you need to get a certain kind of marker. You need to get the broad ones. That's the only ones I'll fit in here. Um, so keep that in mind if you get this thing you need to get broad markers as a matter of brand it just matters if you get broad markers tempted i was actually pretty tempted to get like a big old pack of these but i was like no wait until how you see if you like it um okay i guess i'll go get my stencils out now yeah if i can come off my shelf that's my little shelf totes. things just dropping this thing is getting full like my stencil binder is Oh, like look this baby it's like we'll actually have I have stencil material in here too I don't just have stencils okay we'll use this stencil because it's the first one I saw okay uh, okay 
and we'll put it over here and then we'll speed this up of course and then we'll watch Okay, I think I was doing mine wrong because this one came out much faster. I mean, that took me two seconds to spray that on. Now, this is looking like some good potential. Like, that took two seconds. Okay. Two seconds, guys, and I was done. Maybe it's just me or something's wrong. But that didn't take long at all to get that thing going. <laughs> I had to try to clean up the... I don't care to clean my stencil, but this is water not waterproof so it's <laughs> gonna so, but that took like two seconds uh, you saw that i wonder if it's did i push my thing down all the way i'm gonna try it again let me get the pipsqueak markers out because i'm just using a regular marker maybe i'm doing something wrong because that was like making sure i'm pushing it in there okay let me just flip this over and try the other side and then we'll see I think I was doing it wrong because that nozzle was killing me. Yeah, I think I was doing it wrong because uh, that is much faster. We did it, guys. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, you can get you can contaminate your markers pretty easily with this method, though. Wait, do I have Q-tips or something? Or hang around if I really wanted to clean the thing out. Oh, I have to get off my chair and get those Q-tips, though. I don't feel like doing that. No, I don't feel like doing that. So, we're going to move on to the next part of my video. I showed you guys it. You can see it. It goes really good, especially when you, you know, don't do what Simone did and didn't push it down. She thought she pushed it down, but she really didn't. So, because I'm going to say that was so tedious, I'm not going to use this machine to waste this money, which I still haven't told you the price point. Now, I have another bag here. This bag, I bought some more too. This bag is a bag of, um, still from Crayola. It's a marker. It's for their make your own marker set. Um, I bought this a while ago. I was gonna make a video about it cause I saw somebody talk about it. Wait, did he talk about this one? I'm not sure what he talked, I think he talked about this one. I don't know. But basically you get every component to make your own marker. So you get the barrel, the thing that goes inside of it, the tip, the lid, and then the end. All this, it's a refill. I don't get the kit because it's too expensive. All I want is a refill. The refill I buy is the neon, no, pastel? No, I think it's a pastel refill because it's the cheapest. The regular refill is expensive. And you get like three colors. You get this magenta, a pastel magenta, a pastel cyan, and a pastel yellow. Um, and they're really pretty colors when you use them not for markers. So, I want to know, because these are not permanent. So, even though they're fun to play with, these will bleed. In certain situations, I don't care. But I would love to put my sprays in a marker so I can use it with this machine. So that's what we're going to do. I went out and I'm going to put these markers away. Literally have a whole desk and mess. I'm actually going to just do this real quick because I feel like that's going to fall soon. Sorry, I just shove things on different sides of your desk and who knows. Yeah, it's a little better. It's trash. Cool. All right. Um, so we're gonna do this. I'm got to get a cup, and then I have to get this. So it's my ink. Oh, uh, what color am I making? I have no idea. I know there's a blue in here. Already open. Like I haven't opened all the colors in here. So there's a blue. I think, oh, my red is open. Okay. So we'll get that. We'll just make a purple light color. Since these are already open. So what we're going to do is pour a little bit. Okay. Put the blue in there. I love these containers better than like my original ones because, oh my gosh. I must pour a little more red in there. Okay. Dripping everywhere. These are still messy though. And then we're 
need a little bit of water. Just have some bottled water here I'm gonna use. Just a little the color. And then I'm gonna test the color out real quick to see if I like it. Not bad color. So um, I'm gonna add a little more pigment to that because that's real light. So let's just change the color of this thing. And the blue. You don't know me. I'm I'm DIY girl. I'm like my harm. Right, look at this. I just go to school with a. That's more purple than I like. That's really purple. Okay, it's fine enough. Um, so next you're gonna do is add here, add this in here, which is a little squishy part, and it's going to look the color up. It's supposed to sit in a couple minutes, so I'll be back once it all soaks up and we can go in the next process. Okay. All right, we're back. All right, so it's time to take this baby out. It's been sleeping for a couple minutes. It's not supposed to look that long. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to... in first and I'm gonna push this baby down in here so I'm gonna push down there we go and I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna drip a couple drops of this stuff in here actually let me find something real quick the dropper off of this glass bottle to drop some more ink in that I've squeezed out not too much, just a little bit. Okay, that's not enough. And then we're gonna get the end. And I'm gonna push this baby down. This is the hardest part here. Make sure I do that right. Um, I know I have some over here somewhere. I just have to find them. This is my first. This is not my first time doing this. I just haven't done it in a long time. Oh, here they are. So let me see how this how they look. Let's see if I did it right. Uh, yeah, I did it right. Cool. So that's my marker. <laughs> and uh. It writes. And so we can do the darkening out of the color later on. So um it's been pushed in. Make sure that Okay now. I need to do some more of the cap. Cap needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Oh my gosh, it's the hardest process. Hold on, I'm gonna take the lid back off again. If I can't even do that, you know I can't. So I think it takes power get this thing closed come on Ugh, there it goes <laughs> so wait I want to do some more dripping works let's see how if it works in here okay and I make sure I push that down because I've had the pleasure of not being able to push it down and so use the same stencil uh, let's use the other side of this stencil because I need to clean that one off. Don't get loud.
Okay. Um, so, of course, my fingers are all, like, heavily stained with inks and pens and whatnot. But, and I really need to just... I didn't even use a Q-tip, but yeah. So as I said before, you really can contaminate your markers with this method really easily. I'm just actually going with a Q-tip and cleaning it out because your markers have to touch this. And you saw me messing, I mean, fiddling with it because I had didn't have it close enough to where it can actually spray. So I kind of found a technique of how to get it in there properly. But yes, you can use your DIY markers to do that. So what's the cool thing about this and why I wanted to show you guys or try to do that. Oh, knew that would happen. Spill the ink. It's a fail society over here. And it's okay. It's called paper. Best way to clean things up. I'll soak through. So, and I have paper on the back of my desk anyway. So, the cool thing I wanted to do with this is I want to be able to put this stuff down and not have any issues on bleeding. You see, it's not bleeding. This is my printer ink. This is actually an alcohol marker that I've made, but um, yeah, I blood through. But uh, it's not bleeding, so I can make tons of different kinds of paper, like watching TV, as I said before, make some paper. So the only thing you would need would be this airbrush in the DOI markers. And I think they make ten markers. I can't remember. But if you wanted to do this, just play around with it it's something you could do so let's go over pricing because i gotta go pricing with you guys this baby right as of making this video which is this is the 29th of october um let me go in my amazon sorry about this So let's go over this and everything. This baby, the the difficult, <laughs> this baby cost me about $21, okay, to get this machine. Um, that is prime shipping. Um, um, so I don't know how the price will be if you didn't have prime. Um, kind of as long as the price can change with prime versus no prime. So it's something to look into. Um, it comes with everything that you saw besides the markers I bought. It comes with five Pep Sweet markers. Yeah. And then two sets of stencils and ten sheets of printer paper to use. Okay. Which I think that's fun. You can use these and they'll be bleeding paper, bleeding backgrounds, which I think is fun. If you want to, maybe sometime down the line to make your own colors or to be able to spray it and it be permanent like this, then you get the marker refill set it is a refill set i will leave the links in the description bar before but before below it's a marker maker refill pack it's what it's called i get the pastel colors because it's cheaper than getting the regular ones for some odd reason i don't know why let me find the regular ones yeah it's cheaper the regular set which i'll leave that one below which has the regular colors is nine dollars and the marker pack that i got with the pastel colors is seven dollars and it does fluctuate and i think i got one price here six sixteen i think i paid six dollars for mine because i got it with damaged packaging which i love about amazon <clears throat> um so something to look into if you're interested of doing like making your own colors with my printer ink method if you want to see a video on how i do that it's kind of basically what you just saw you see like that um basically the same method of making my springs but you want to make it more concentrated and then you put it in your marker boom it's really simple um so i have that and i really as I said before i don't really use these refills i use them sometimes when i make watercolors because they're really pretty colors when they're very concentrated um but i wouldn't put in the marker um and it even comes with the coloring chart in the pack if you want to know how to mix colors so if you get like the printer ink i'll show you of course those are pastel colors so keep that in mind 
um, but it's about the same just of it for color matching and everything um, so that's one option if you don't want this machine you don't have to get it I'm not telling you go get it I think it's fun though I, I'm excited to make cool patterns with my sun soles and give myself another use for them and some cool texture to have in your art journals and stuff now I'm recording even more paper I know guys shame I'm not helpful but there is and I'll leave that below too Art Rose Art has their own version of this too, but it's battery powered and it only accepts the thin ones, the super tip markers. Any super tip marker, like the thin, skinny ones. Do we have some over here? I, mean, I have lots of markers, right? My <laughs> no, it's a permanent marker. I think, oh no, here I do. Here it is. Here's the super tip. This is the Crayola super tip. So, with the Rose Art one, you will have to get these. And with the Crayola one, you will have to buy these. It's a difference. So, um, and the Rose Art one comes with 15 colors. The reviews on it are like, eh. For on Amazon, the reviews are eh. But it's up to you. It's battery powered and it's cheaper. The Rose Art one is $14 compared to this one. Um... It just depends on you. Some people say the markers were dried out. <laughs> Some people say it was just, it didn't spray right. I don't know. You can invest in it. I'll leave the links below for you guys. If you're interested, of course, you know me. I don't always use name brand. This is Imagine my Rushable Markers. And this is actually Crayola. I bought this for school and I still have it left over from some of my biology projects. Um, but that's, the, that's, that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. I thought it'd be fun. To maybe get your own air um, airbrush uh, texture on your art journals and your scrapbook on a card, and I will be showing some videos later on. Let me unplug this so I don't accidentally plug it up and you hear you know that noise. Um, I will make some videos later on using this other crafts. Give you some more ideas. Of course, I bought this with my own money, not sponsored. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> subscribers to be sponsored <laughs> um so it's so ideas i want to see some more things see what happens uh i wonder if you can turn these into a paint marker um they are air tight i think pretty sure most likely who knows we'll see i'll experiment some more and maybe make an update video like telling you what i've done because you know me I have to experiment some more. Um, but I've had fun. I think it's really a tiny thing. I, I don't. I hate the color though. The color is ugly. If you don't know me, I hate hate green color. But I will just maybe just cover this with some stickers or paper. I might collage some paper on top of this with some super glue or something. Let's <laughs> make it artsy. I might do that later on. But besides the point, it works. I love it. I think it's gonna be fun. <clears throat> As I said before, I will show you some videos playing with this baby. Much love, and I hope this inspires you to look out for the box for some cool tools meant for kids to use in your art journal or crafty projects. Much love, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Get crafty and stay crafty. <laughs>